Yeah, I'm, I'm better than a Corvette. My name is Jimmy Wade. I'm from Delno, Pennsylvania. I'm in a band called the Patriot Outlaws. It's five Telecasters and a Ludwig drum set with only batter heads, no bass drum dampeners, and a St. Anger snare. We're playing music fast! Combined weight of all band members is three quarters of one U.S. ton. We all drive Camaros, but I, Jimmy Wade, <coughs> have the best. I have an SLP 575. 675 horsepower on pump gas, and this could be yours. Enter to win at whynotyougear.com, buy a mug or a digital download, and get entered to win. And somebody is going home with this Corvette Slayer. Whynotyougear.com, mug, digital download, these things run for a week and a half. Click the link in the description. And get ready to experience big power. The SLP 575 is to the Corvette C6 what the Grand National GNX was to the C4 Corvette. Another threat to the sanctity of Corvettes. The rule is nothing within the General Motors fleet can be faster than a Corvette until something sneakily gets made. That is. But the SLP 575 isn't a perfect comparison to the GNX because the GNX was an in house tuning team, while SLP is a third party outfit. But General Motors officially recognizes SLP. That means getting an SLP performance package won't void your GM warranty. The base Camaro of this generation made 304 horsepower. The SS made 426 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. The SS SLP 575 made 575 horsepower. And it's also designated the ZL 575. And because the previous owner wanted more, this SLP is making 100 over that. So, let's talk about big power. 450 to 500 horsepower, that's enough for the street, for a front engine, rear drive, two plus two coupe. That's enough for you to do beer belly burnouts and make rumbly sounds and roll around, grumble affirming, hell yeah, brother, it's me again. Uh, the Patriot Outlaws, uh, they just broke up, uh, so... Uh, my new band is Jimmy Wade and the Defilers. We're playing at Keystone Health Senior Services Casino Night and Ham Boat Sale. SLP ZL575 Chevrolet Camaro SS. The automotive equivalent of casting Knights of the Round on low-level enemies. There is zero reason for this car to exist. Not in this form. It's too much car and too much power with not enough purpose. Every aspect of this car's manufacture feels like a son atoning for whatever he thinks he did to make his father leave. This engine, this tune, the sounds that come ripping out of the back of this thing. For crying out loud, muscle cars already have a reputation for overcompensation, but this is ridiculous. Like, what are you trying to tell the world about yourself? That you raw dog the front desk receptionist at your local tanning salon? Now, the original owner of this car was a dentist who wanted the best Camaro. Because you can't just have a Camaro. No, it has to be the best of all Camaros or else people going to think you're broke. So he bought the SS and then got the SLP 575 tune. And then he basically just parked it at his beach house in New Jersey. All he used this car for is for just driving up and down the Jersey Shore every summer and maybe taking a few road trips. I mean, it's got a respectable amount of miles on it. The car was definitely used as a car. But its primary role was for looking cool at the beach. I could just picture him. He just starts every summer down at Cape May. Just starts there. Just rolls around. Rah, 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 Cape May. Yeah. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah! And then, oh, 
We're at Avalon now. Yeah. And then could keep going up. Sea Isle City. Stopping and looking at people and going, yeah. Oh, Ocean City, New Jersey. No beer here. Yeah. Oh, Atlantic City. Hell yeah. All the way Red Bank. Monmouth. <laughs> Staten Island. <laughs> In my idea of what this guy does, it's just it's just southern New Jersey up to New York City back again. And <laughs> just stopping at every single traffic light. And that's my idea. I don't even know what the guy looked like. <laughs> just stopping and going, yeah. <laughs> And that's like his retirement from pulling teeth and filling filling cavities. Yeah. Uh, this car could have stayed that way forever, nestled among beach bros posting inspirational quotes and living off their girlfriend's only fan incomes. But then his son inherited the car, put different wheels on it, has BBS wheels on it now, and uh, tuned the SLP further, reaching 675 horsepower. And then suddenly, this car gained a new life as an energy drink taken intravenously. The original 6.2 liter aluminum block LS V8 went from high 400s to high 500s via a Magnuson supercharger, which just shoves air and fuel in there. It would get you to 3. It was, it was 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds in 2010. But when you add 100 more horsepower to that, this car becomes the green mist of Symphony of the Night warping you across planes of existence and making you untouchable to your enemies. This Camaro is cartoonish. Like Shaggy and Scooby running in place, suspended in mid-air for three seconds before taking off. There is no reason for a car to have this much power. I mean, it has, it has new Pirelli P0s on it, and they're not enough. If anything, the ZL575 recaptures the plot of the Camaro, putting it back on the muscle car track it had veered from as it became more and more focused on competing with the Corvette rather than with other cars in its actual class. On one hand, the Camaro, with these performance upgrades and this tune, is basically the automotive version of a rugby player, focused and muscular, handing out all its athletic gifts with a graceful brutality. But if a Camaro is like rugby, then the Corvette was American football, and still is, as much an institution as carbonated sugar water, emulsified meat trimmings on a potato roll, corporate sponsorships, and six minutes of rest for every 15 seconds of play. It's coded with national sentiment because a Corvette is accessible in ways a Camaro isn't. A Camaro projects aggression. It's kind of ugly, and it always was. It's lumpy like a weightlifter who didn't stick with his regimen and just assumed the HGH would do all the grunt work. And so, General Motors began to move the Camaro toward a more sport ideology. But the Camaro isn't a sports car. It isn't a Corvette. It's a different bag of rats altogether. So SLP, which is street legal performance, has been a part of the Camaro legacy for years. They've been around since 1987, and according to their website, they were the first company in the performance aftermarket scene to develop and manufacture a 50-state emission legal performance package specifically for V8 Camaros and Firebirds. Their muscle car focus allowed them to focus on upgrades from everything from, you know, the old cold air intake, exhaust suspension, body kits, and interior modifications. SLP is basically where you go if you want everyone to know about your grind. Because money never sleeps, so I don't either. But when I do, I wear a mouth guard because I stay grinding. Only about 500 of these Camaros were ever built, with only 250 models getting the six-speed manual transmission. Those models, like the ones you're seeing now, are designated the SL575. The automatic models, which make up the other 250 examples of the supercharged gravitational nightmare, are, des are designated the SL550. Now, the MSRP on a ZL575 in 2010 
was about $57,995, which was 20,000 more than a stock SS in 2010. So the price balances itself out with the knowledge that this was probably the only way to get this kind of performance without stripping away whatever pretense of security your warranty offered. In stock form, a Camaro SS is a man who's set in his ways. His favorite beer is Mickey's Big Mouth. His favorite meal is anything under $5 so he doesn't have to make it himself. His favorite sex position is rubberless missionary that lasts 90 seconds and ends with a sandwich. He posts his marriage license to his Instagram joke page. His favorite pastime is wishing someone would test him. And as long as no one does, he can continue living in his ivory tower of heroic delusions. But with the SLP tune, it reshapes the narrative of the Camaro, where it's possible to merge a sports car mentality with a muscle car presentation. SLP found a way to configure a Camaro to accept this rumbling crucible of unadulterated force, and in turn, a way to bring the Camaro back to a more familiar muscle car identity. For better or worse, sometimes for both. But wait a minute, is this a real SLP 575? Is this an SLP or an SLP clone? Because originally I didn't see red brake calipers, so I didn't think they were Brembo's, but on closer inspection, they are real Brembo's. They just say Chevrolet on them. Now here's the build sheet for this car. High Tech Auto Clinic, Palisade Avenue, Bogota, Bogota, New Jersey. Total build sheet for this SS Camaro. Supercharger package, that's the Magnuson Supercharger. $9,695. High flow headers with high flow cat. $1,999. Something called a loudmouth 2. $599. New thermostat, $22. Uh, whole new springs, that is $374. Sway bar kit, $449. Hood, $1,095. Now that is a real SLP hood up there. But it's not marked as an SLP hood on the build sheet. Anyway, this is abbreviated thing. Closeout panel, $149. Rear spoiler, mm-hmm, $299. Oh, we got two suspect things here. SS grill insert, SS badge kit. Both $37.50. Uh, quarter panel decal kit, $37.50. And rear blackout kit, that is $59.95. Labor. Stage 2 supercharger package. Installed supercharger with cold air induction system. Installed 1.85 high ratio rocker arms with HP springs and keepers. Installed booster pump and high flow injectors. Reprogrammed ECM with SLP tune. Aha. So it does have an SLP tune. So this is SLP stuff, but is this an a recognized SLP car. As far as clones go, if this is a clone, it's a very, very good one. Installed front and rear sway bar kits, installed front and rear spring kits, installed SS badges and graphics. Installed hood, front grille, closeout panel, rear spoiler, uh, painted all new parts, stripped body with white pearl, clear coated. So are these stripes even real? Authorized SLP dealer and installer. Zero. Oh, wait a second. This says authorized SLP dealer. So does that mean that an SLP, an SLP Camaro, an SLP 575 doesn't have to be made by SLP? It could be made under the supervision of someone else and then an account and then it, and, and then it works? Because there's something else here. The total bill, the total bill for this build is $22,504.88, which is pretty much the same price that you would get if you that that, that all the manufacturers back back in 2010 said an SLP is over the base price command. So is this a real SLP? There's a badge under the hood that says this is a real SLP hood, but God, the people, these GM people that have to have the best of the best of the every best. And if they don't have the best, they're going to make the best unless this really is the best. The best Camaro that don't stall it, Brian. 
There you go. People have to have the best of the best of everything with the best and then to put the windows down so you can hear me going fast. I have the best Camaro. Everybody has to know I have the best Camaro. Here I come with the very best. And another thing. The key fob isn't numbered. It's supposed to be numbered. And there's no plaque on the dash. There's, a, there's supposed to be an SLP plaque on the dash. Huh. But the power is here. And there are SLP parts. So... Oh, I'm sorry. This entire review got off track. I was talking about big power earlier. So, sorry about that. So, big power is, according to LS Prophet Matt Happel... Anything over 600 horsepower. 600 horsepower on cars this size is the moment where street tires will hinder your acceleration no matter how wide they become. 600 horsepower is where you need gummy track tires. Tires that are so soft you can press your thumbnail into them and that indentation will stay there until you wear the tire down past that depth. Big power means the engine becomes an instigator, a friend who encourages you to, come on, do it, and then wears a halo when you got caught. Dude, I didn't mean to do it. What are you looking at V for? In 2022, big ice engines have to justify their worth to 1,000 horsepower electric cars. A Plaid will beat an SLP performance Camaro. But a Plaid is an all-wheel drive tech revolution with more processing power than a full-body tracking VR chat rig with a Bluetooth rectal interface. An electric car with launch mode will keep you going straight during that mad acceleration. This, SLP real or clone, this won't. Once the supercharger builds boost, the traction control sweats like a remedial kid in an AP class. An LS engine with forced induction is a wet fish you're trying to hold while riding an inverted roller coaster. A Camaro with SLP performance parts is a cartoonish vehicle, and it's for all it's for is yeah! What? And away he goes. Remember Mad Max 1, 1979, when the V8 interceptor was introduced and they said it had 600 to the wheels? Well, that means, of course, that there, there's, there's some driveline tax. So 675 horsepower on the original, uh, uh, um, you know, Pursuit Special Interceptor. Eh? This is that. <laughs> you want to know what it's like to be like Mad Max in the original one and what that power really felt like? This is that. I mean, I know everything's going, I know, you know, power is going electric, but this is from 2010 where you wanted to go fast. You needed a blower or some crazy big turbo and, you know, running, running like E85 ethanol, like a fully uh, E85 ethanol tune. Maybe this is the last of the V8s and this isn't even 20 years old yet. Man, time's moving fast, but this thing will keep up with it. And you will, and you will able, you will be able to do it too. Buy a mug or a digital download. Why not you gear.com. Click the link in the description. Someone's going to win this. And or win this thing. And please, please, when you win it, be careful for me. Please. This is a lot of car.